You know, it hasn't even been six hours since the polls have been open, but people have a lot to say. There's a lot of mixed reasons for why they're here. I'm going to step out of the shot here just so you can get a closer look at what's going on here right now in St. Bernard. But, you know, we've been seeing lines all over the place. We were in Sharonville earlier this morning and we saw lines there. As soon as they opened, people were ready to go. Steady streams of voters have also been here in St. Bernard this afternoon. Voters I've talked with at random had some very mixed messages, as I said. Some say they think it's time for a conservative candidate to change the direction of the country. One man told me this race is historic with a woman as president, a possibility, and a woman I talked with told me her vote is part of the fight to knock one candidate out. To me, I think uh, Trump is the wrong choice, if I might say that, and I, I wanted to be a part of not getting him in there, really. So I think we need a strong conservative voice in there to counteract. That's why I went with Cruz. Now, some of the big topics that I've heard so far include the size of government, health care, and also improving education. Of course, there are so many more issues than that that I'm sure we're going to be hearing from today as we continue our coverage. Uh, the polls continue staying open until about 730 tonight. Plenty of more people, I'm sure, with opinions and votes to cast. For now, we're live in St. Bernard. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.